Here we are on the Flights of Fancy garden feeders this afternoon for the big garden bird watch. And the first bird to come on to the peanut feeder today is our little friend, the blue tit. What an active little chap he is. Um, he is uh, loving those peanuts. Um, as you can see, he's very lively, very intelligent bird. And now on the fat ball feeders, he will absolutely stuff himself on fat balls. He's a voracious feeder. It takes a lot of energy to keep one of those little bodies going and warm this time of year. And there he is. What a lovely bird. Starlings. Now, some people like starlings, some people don't. I mainly think that people that don't like starlings haven't really seen one close up. They are beautiful birds. They can be boisterous. Uh, their old English name was sterling, which means raucous or voracious person. Um, and they are exactly that. Uh, they tend to fly around in flocks and they mob feeders, but they are very, very attractive birds. Our house sparrows seem to have found that the best way to counter this uh, problem with the starlings is to gang up and come in numbers when there's only one starling there and everything seems to be fine. Uh, the sparrows, they are becoming less populous, uh, but we've probably got about 50 in our garden. We're very lucky they inhabit uh, the hedge and, and boxes all around the garden and they've got a lovely song to them you hear them singing all day long from the hedgerows uh, through the windows and it's a, it's a cheerful sound uh, here we have Dan setting up the camera to take some more pictures and he's oh, what's he baiting the bird table with it looks like tins of sardines what can he have on his mind what could he possibly be wanting to attract with that who knows Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Something's approaching, something's approaching. My word, look, that is a gaudy bird. That is the Dorset Coastal Penguin. This one looks like a male. Yes, it's a male. It's got a beard. Very, very rarely seen inland. Quite endangered. Uh, they can be quite secretive um, and they will be shy feeders until they're aware of their surroundings, upon which time they'll absolutely wreck your bird tables. Um, but a different bird, not something you'll see every day. Ah, now this is one of my real favourites. It's the long-tailed tit, known in medieval times as the mum ruffin or the bum barrel, sometimes the hedge jug, an uh, elegant little bird often found in flocks of 20 or so this time of year. Lovely, delicate pink blush to the breast and a cheeky little face. Ah, morning, Mrs. Blackbird. Morning, Mr. Blackbird. As you can see, the difference between the male and the female blackbirds, Mrs. Blackbird is a dark, dark chocolate color. Mr. Blackbird is, as it says, black with a golden beak. And these are the birds that uh, get up early to get the worms. So well, this is the early bird that gets the worms. Uh, you'll see them in the garden from before light till just after dark. Uh, never seem to stop feeding. Lovely birds with a beautiful song. Ah, hi guys, just topping up the uh, bird feeders after the video we did for the Big Garden Bird Watch for here at Flights of Fancy. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, our video of, of common and maybe not so common uh, garden birds. If you'd like any information about garden birds in your garden, uh, have a look on our website um, or, and click on the link below to the information pages about garden birds, which are extensive please do feel free to send us any videos of the birds in your garden. We would love to see them. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, you topped up.